everyone, it's Justine here, the Twilight Stamper, and today we're going to learn how to create a clean and simple card for the dog lover in your family. Now, be sure to check out Jessica's website. I have it listed below for details. You might have the dog breed of that's your favorite and available in a stamp set, and I think they're really, really unique and detailed and really lifelike looking stamps, which are really cool. So we're going to be taking this stamp set here and again all the supplies and everything are listed on my blog and also below in the description. I'm going to put my stamp here onto my snap press and ink it up using Memento ink. Using Memento because again I'm using Copic markers and this is a Copic friendly ink. You want to make sure you have even coverage on the stamp and you're going to stamp that down along with the sentiment using the Memento ink. I'm going to be doing some coloring here using my Copic markers and I'm going to be using N0, N02, and N4 and um, I got that in a gray shade pack of Copics and these are really good for doing a gray shade that's for animals and looks realistic for animals and I really enjoy this pack that I have. So I'm just going to go in on the parts that I want to color um, using the lightest color and then I'm going to go in and do some shading with the darker colors. I'm going in with my N0 and I'm coloring his whole back on the dog as well as bits of his ears and face. I did want to leave um, some of him white. Uh, Shelties belong to such different or have such different colorings and, and depends on um, they could be brown or gray and there's lots of possibilities. And now I went in with the N4 and I'm just going into the darkest areas. So under the face here, under the ears, and then um, on those little details that are in the actual stamp, those black areas, I'm going in and making sure that they're all colored to show the darkest parts of the dog and also to give him more of a lifelike look and to have some shadowing. I put some of the darker color also on the front of the body of the dog and then I went in with the N2 and I blended that N4 out. I wanted to make sure that this was blended really well, this card. And so I just went in and extended that darker color. And then I went back in and I blended everything again using the N0 marker. And I love the N0 marker because it's such a light marker. I made sure to add a shadow underneath so it didn't look like the dog was kind of just floating out randomly. I also decided to add the paw print to the um, card because I found that the card was a little plain. And so I put a piece of foam underneath because I wanted to make sure to get a really good impression and because I'm working on wood sometimes I don't get an even impression with stamps and I need to add something soft underneath. Thank you for joining me for such a quick tutorial today and I hope you check out Jessica's website to see what other dog breeds she has. Thanks so much for watching.